know how Jose got back to North Carolina? No, I don't, actually. The last I heard from Jose was about two months after he decided to stay there, and he said that he was in Alaska um, working for a little bit, and then he was going to the Philippines to see his... um, like year and a half old girlfriend through that he met through Facebook and they had been nonstop talking whole night. What does this guy do for a living? What does Jose do for a living? Um, he actually the last he a lot of money to travel to Alaska and then the Philippines. Like his girlfriend's dad offered to um I'll buy him there because yeah well, yeah because he's never. Met a man that will cook for the old lady, do dishes, basically take care of a house by himself because I guess that's not how the Philippines work. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like yeah, maids. They're, they're like maids. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Different countries, different ways. To him, like I said, when he landed in Alaska, that was the last I talked to him. And but, oh. like I said, my brother, talked, my brother talked to him once in a while when Jose gets service. Because apparently wherever he is, um, phones and internet don't work well. Got you. So he... And the last... Go ahead. In the, last, the last my brother told me is that he was doing well in the Philippines and he's just happy that, you know, he's there and that he made a mistake and had to make it up to his girlfriend in the Philippines because he was messing around with Allison. And from what I hear... Uh, Candace shortly at the end. Oh, wow. So, yeah, like, there was a comment that Candace made that he likes chicks with dicks. And I don't know if she was telling her husband that, like, because he was mad that he was there. I, not that I know. So he's straight, as far as you know? Well, I mean, I was, at the time that I met Jose... Um, me and my ex-wife was going through a bad breakup, and my brother, well, and my brother let me move in with him, and Jose was already living with him. And as far as I know, but he would just be talking about females. I mean, at one point he was hit on my ex-wife with me standing there, and it's like whatever. Oh my god! <laughs> so Jose has no no boundaries when it when he wants something. Well, he- <laughs> So can I ask you something? So when when Jose made the decision to stay there at the Wells, Mm -hmm. did, I mean, did he have a plan? Was he going to live there? Was he going to, you know, find a ride? It was just a stop. But he didn't have a vehicle, did he? Or did he? No. uh, It was was just a stop until he could get, until he could get his money transferred from, a certain bank to him. Oh, so did Donald Wells, did Donald Wells deal any kind, like, was there any kind of drug transactions with them? Because that's what, that's what Donald Wells is saying to his coworkers. That's... Oh, and I have friends that went down to Tennessee with Jose. It was Jose's choice to stay there when we came back up here. We had a house down there, but it, we needed three days for it to be ready. And we couldn't find a hotel for our group, so we came back to New York. So you guys, like, how many guys came down with you? It was me, my wife, uh, our child, her child, my friend, my brother, my brother, who I'm going to keep just as that, OJ, um... Our friend and her five went with us, so we were all basically just picked up, picked up, and just wanted to get out of New York because we kind of don't like the way New York runs. So we just wanted to get out of New York, and Tennessee was the halfway point for some of us and a stay point for some of us. We were actually going to stay in Tennessee because the schools are better, um, and our daughter would get the extra help that she needs with her reading and whatnot, unlike they do up here, which they used to have this no child left behind thing, where they just pass the kid along through school. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So they have the better school system there? For my wife, she has a bad back. So, so all of you guys went down there, and did you make plans to, like, stay at the wells, or how did that all come up? Given Kingsport's on that border of West Virginia and Tennessee, all the hotels and whatnot were taken off. Mm -hmm. And we had to wait three days for the house that we put a down payment on to get. For those of us that were staying in Tennessee, <laughs> we had to wait for that Monday, and we couldn't find a hotel. So we, Allison was trying to help us find hotels, and so was Candace and whatnot. And Jose, Jose didn't want to come back up here because his kids don't talk to him, and uh, he had a bad breakup with his ex-wife, so he just wanted to get away from all the drama, have a fresh start, and Candace offered for him and us to stay, but we decided to come back to New York because this is where most of my uh, wife's family is and 90% of mine is. Uh-huh. With the exclu- with the exclusion of Hunter, of course, because Hunter lives in Tennessee. So he was left behind. No, he was not left behind. Did you see Donald? No, I never met him. I actually only met Summer once, and it was that day when we were getting ready to go come back to New York because Hunter just got out of school and he was happy that I was down there. And due to um, the current New York court order, anytime I pass through Tennessee or whatever, Elson has to bring him to me so I can see him for a little bit. Uh huh. So Allison was just going by court order at the time, and he just got out of school along with the other kids. So he come up, we hung out for a little bit, and he wanted one of the cats that we had with us. And I said, "All right, cool, man. But I think you take care of that little baby." And as far as I know, that cat was as good and healthy. I couldn't tell you. Oh, who, what, where, where was and is Jose? Jose. How do you know Jose? Jose? He, like I said, I got him, what was it, 2018, no, just before that, I met him in 2017, because he moved in with my brother. So you met him through your brother? Yeah, and he was living with my brother until we moved up, until we tried to move down there in 2020. And then he had a girlfriend that whole time, and then now he's moved to the Philippines with her, or? Oh, did, he, he just, did he have a significant girlfriend? He went with a girlfriend to the Philippines, and he changed his number. He's not on social media. None of it. So he hasn't Anyone? even been questioned? Oh, they can't question him. He was gone. He was gone uh, almost a year before it happened. It just he happened just, like. like out. But it just happened like. It just happened this summer. Yeah. Yeah, but this is back in 2020. He left for the. Oh, he so was, you're saying he. Fe- okay, so I'm trying to get that timeline. After he left the Wells, he went to North Carolina. Yeah, we all tried to move down. We all tried to move down there in 2020. Right. They didn't have any, what's the thing I'm The blocks? Um, yeah, they didn't block off all the roads at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, we did call, but we did call, you know, New York State Health Department to see how about we can get in and out of, how about what we'd have to do if we were to leave state and whatnot, because at the time, Tennessee and a few others were deemed red flag and... Like, the states we had to pass through to get there weren't. So we were safe to leave New York to go through Pennsylvania and all that all the way down. It's just, Tennessee was on our do not go list up here. Oh, I got you. Okay. But then how did he, when did he go to the Philippines then? Right after that? Um, I think, I think in all honesty, it was right after that fishing season. Oh, so he went to Alaska and then went to the Philippines. Yeah, it was right after that fishing season. Um, because he said because he already had the job lined up to get on a boat as soon as he got. 
Um, you see Vet Girl? He was only in Tennessee for about a month. Uh, Lobo. He was there for about a month? Yeah, he was only there for about a month. Wow. I mean, but he stayed with them the whole time? <laughs> Did he, like, live with he, them during that month? He, he, Gotta be healthy for them. How old is Jose? Oh, the same age as you, or? Oh, uh, he's a little older than I He's older than I am. 50s? Like, early 50s? Uh, no, not, I don't think he's in his 50s yet, to be honest with you. I'm not sure, but I know his hair is covered because of the stress. Yeah. He's got, he's got adult, let's put it like this, he's got adult children. He's even got a grandbaby. Oh, okay. Okay, makes sense. I mean, I started meeting him in 2017, and, you know, drunken stories that he'd tell us, I mean... He seemed like an Irish guy. Um, he never did anything harmful around my kid. Never did anything. I mean, it, he was the top because it, bas- it was basically a bachelor pad, so to speak. A three-bedroom uh, three bachelor pad. And when I had my kids over and he'd come out the shower, he didn't know the kids was, he, he'd go right back in and, you know, get, get in the clothes he just took off and then walk in his room and close the door. You know, because mm-hmm. usually he'd come out in a power and walk to his home. It is literally a U-turn. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, if you'd hear the kid, if you'd, if, if you'd hear the kids in the living room, which was, you know, up, like two walls away, he would go back to the bathroom, throw his, like, you know, his, his pants on just to be decent because there's kids in the house. Just to walk to his room to get clean clothes. I mean, right. never disrespectful towards any of my kids or even made any advancements. So you, you fully trust them around kids and stuff. Um, Only for simple fact, you know, Jose and I know each other well enough. I know that if he was to do he knows if this Andrew, Andrew H. Holy jumping, how many times that come from? <laughs> so, can I ask you a question about Jose? Yeah, but Why did you stop talking to him? Uh, I didn't stop talking to him. It's just, he changed. When he got to, when he told me he was heading to the Philippines, he changed, he, and he told me he was going to change his number. And I changed my number and forgot to text him with his old one. Before he ch- before he changed his, did I change mine the day before he changed his? So you guys so just lost touch. His. Yeah, we just lost touch. But like my brother always got me. Oh, your brother still talks to him. Oh yeah. So does your brother live in New York as well? That like you guys all lived in New York. Yeah, we all live in New York. Okay. So it was said, I think, early on that Candace had said that Jose came on a motorcycle and that the rest of no. you guys came in, like, a caravan. Like, I don't know how. I got to say, we, he, he was in a U-Haul with my brother, and there was the rest of us in a caravan and a car. Okay. And he wasn't concerned being left there with no vehicle. Like, I would have anxiety. I just can't do that. Well, he just, he, he took a leap. He just said, he just F it. And take a leap. Yeah, we've yeah. all been there, right? Anyway. Well, he looked at it like it, he's closer to, he was closer to where he had to be by being in Tennessee, so he's like, screw it. I'm going to stay, and then I'm going to get my money, and I'm going to get some of the money that's being sent to me, and I'm just going to go to Alaska, go to my job, and then head off to the Philippines and go be happy. He just said, screw it. He started a page in his book. He had an opportunity. He jumped. He met a good girl um, who had family up here that she was visiting one year for the holidays. They hit it off, and it went from there. So he's one of the lucky ones. It, it's rare, but it happened. Hmm. Wow. Hey, things happen. They do. They do. They do. We had, we had a good, listen, my brother found us a good deal. It's just, we picked the wrong time to try to, we picked the wrong timing, and the hotels were all clogged, and 
It just didn't work out. Yeah, I mean, it happens all the time. Do you think that Jose, do you think that your brother could talk with Jose? Do you think Jose would talk with me? Um, that bad thing about that is Jose only gets to a phone once a month. Oh, shoot. Really? Yeah, because where he is doesn't have, uh, internet or cell power right now. Wow. Is he in the boonies? Basically, he's basically off in the boonies. Oh. I'm old school. Wow. Talk about, like, uh, life-changing, right? Like... Well, he, his um, girlfriend's father, or wife, I think they got married. I really wasn't paying attention when my brother was talking about it. Um, got them a house out in the sticks because Jose and his girl wanted to live like her parents did. So they, before, you know, when they first got together, and they respect the old ways up to the point to up to a certain point because Jose is basically house bitch, even though he's working for her father. Oh, so he's working for her dad. Yep. So and, he's, um, and he's also working on a, from what I hear, he's working uh, for her father on the off seasons of fishing. So, that's all I can Well, I mean that that explains a lot. So, definitely, I I appreciate that, and I appreciate you know you calling in and being candid. I mean, you just called on the fly. This wasn't planned. So, in all fairness, I mean, you called in, you showed up in chat, and you called and you answered everything that everybody asked. Oh, yeah. But no, um, I cut this short, but I gotta get. I have my I get up with in the morning. You're good. You're good. All right. Thanks, Andrew. And um, yeah, you too. Take care of yourself. Okay, bye.